Hi, I'm Mahib Zara with Octablue here today. I'm going to show you how to set up an Arduino with a virtual serial port connected to Octablue so that you can uh, program your Arduino from the cloud and connect it to all sorts of Internet of Things applications. So the first thing you're going to do is um, you're going to download this uh, Johnny5 Chrome app. Uh, just search Chromebots in the App Store and you're going to launch this. And we're going to use this to install Fermata, which is uh, a standard firmware that lets um, our code talk to the Arduino and tell it what to do. So we're going to select our USB port and we're going to do install Fermata. So we saw the board flashes. Uh, we see that the two RX and TX pins are flashing, indicating that it's being programmed. Uh, when it's done, it'll stop flashing. Um, after that, we're going to go and we're going to um, download GateBlue. Uh, this is our desktop uh, and embedded gateway application. This lets us connect different devices to Octoblue uh, through plugins. So um, I'm on a Mac, so I download the Macintosh installer. I've already installed that, so I'm going to go ahead and run it. And this is the first time it's running, so it's going to be an unclaimed gateway. Um, so once I have that running, we'll notice here I have this UUID. This is unique to this gateway. Um, we're going to go to our Octoblue account. So if you haven't already, you want to go to beta.octoblue.com and sign up for a beta. Uh, we're in open beta right now, so, you should, so you'll be able to connect right away. We're going to get into our account and go to the connect page. We're going to accept the terms and conditions. I'm going to add a new node. So this is how you add any device or uh, gateway plugin. So we've already downloaded and run it, and it sees that we have an unclaimed gateway on this network. So we'll give it a name and add it to our account. Uh, and after that, you'll see a demo flow to get you started off. We're going to go back to connect, though, and we're going to look for Johnny5. We're going to click that and then add it to our gateway. So if we look here, the gateway app plugin starts installing remotely. After the plugin finishes installing, and hopefully it didn't take too long on your machine, um, it'll ask you to configure it. So we're going to give it a name. We'll call this J5. Uh, you don't need to put anything for port. So we'll hit update, and we're going to create a new flow. And we're going to give this flow a name. If we go into a configured nodes bin, we'll see Johnny5. So we'll drop that node in by clicking on it. And this lets us control different um, functions of the Arduino. So we can do a digital write and pin 13, where we have our LED. There's also an onboard LED on most Arduinos tied to pin 13, labeled L. So we're going to say pin 13 and value, we're going to reference a message coming in. So we're going to put message.payload between uh, two pairs of uh, uh, curly braces. We put two buttons in front of it. And we're going to tell these buttons to output a string of 0 or 1. And one will be turn the pin on to high, which would be in this case five volts, or zero, which would be off. So now when we hit play or start our, our flow, Arduino should bind through that plugin. If we press the triggers, we can turn this LED on and off remotely. And this flow is currently in the cloud and can be changed on the fly to change the behavior of, our, of your Arduino. And you can tie this to a multitude of devices and web services. And that's that.